Call Prince on the acquisition trail and looking for wide format companies with a turnover of 3 million plus and with room to grow. Call Print itself has a turnover of 12 million and has pledged to increase that to 25 within two years. I'm here today with MD Steve Cheek to talk about how wide format fits into that strategic development plan. Hello Steve. In June last year, Callprint formed Jupiter Visual Graphics and then in November announced um, expansion plans, particularly in the wide format space. Put quite simply, why now? For the last five or six years, the country's been in recession. Callprint have been in business for 22 years now, started by my father. Um, and we quietly have grown the business from one shop operation in, in London to 22 locations now across the UK and outside of the UK. During the recession, we had to consolidate the business and look at strategically where we wanted to be, mm -hmm. the clients we wanted to deal with. As we were coming out of recession, we looked closely at where our investment should be. Um, and wide format was one of our choices in terms of investing further in that side of the business. We were fortunate enough to know um, my colleague Ben Moss, who's joined the business um, as a director, and in talking to him and developing a relationship with him, it seemed an opportunity for us both to work together um, and announce ourselves as a specialist wide format division. And he's been, been absolutely influential in terms of bringing the whole team across in terms of a special skill set, um, identifying the equipment we need to invest in, and of course acquisition opportunities in terms of his expertise and his knowledge of that wide format market. To make the best use of um, our skills in terms of that, we needed to identify the right opportunities in the market. So we needed to announce ourselves both as corporate with the infrastructure, the long-standing quality and expertise that we've had in place, as well as this new expertise that we brought in on board in terms of Jupiter Visual Communications. So here we are. Your dad, chairman and founder, Alan Cheek, said at the time that the acquisition plan was announced, and I quote, the aim is for the company to be viewed as the leading one-stop service provider for large format, digital and 3D print projects of any size and in all areas. That's a very big ask. Um, where is the money coming from and where is it going? Okay, a call print as a company, as we said, my father started it 22 years ago um, and the policy of the company was to always reinvest back into the business. Mm. Okay? We've never taken out the business, it's not been a lifestyle business. The business reinvests back into in terms of acquisitions, in terms of equipment and more particularly its staff. Our staff is our most important commodity. So in terms of as we develop as a business, in terms of the opportunities that will present ourselves, um, we would utilise that alongside our staff. Our staff are a can-do group of people. So a client will come to us and say, can we do this? With the Jupiter, we have the same team on board. Um, and so initially we'll be utilising the existing infrastructure that corporate has, been built, has built up over those 20 years, which is significant in terms of the locations and the equipment. We also have a great selection of partners who we'll be utilising okay, um, in terms of some outsource requirements and identifying where we need to invest in terms of the equipment. The key thing is as well as the existing infrastructure, we have built up um, our own resources internally by reinvesting back in the business and we have a fantastic relationship with our two banks and manufacturers. So in a combination of all those three things, it should give us more than enough uh, opportunity to take advantage of the right acquisitions, the right investment in opportunities in terms of equipment and more importantly investment in opportunities in terms of staff because they are the people that will drive the business forward. When you announced these acquisition plans you said the intention was for Carprint to expand in an evolutionary way. Can you just expand a bit upon what you mean by that? I think the view is that the wide format market for us is a brand new market. They're, we are working in parallel markets, of course, and we do understand parts of that market. Um, but the company itself has grown to 12 million. Uh, we're looking at significant growth on that 12 million um, further down the road. And wide format is going to play a major part of that. That means we have to look at the structure of the business to accommodate the needs of that particular market without affecting too dramatically what we've done previously because obviously our existing client base is very important to us. We want to maintain the quality, the professionalism that we've provided them, but we want to carry that across into the, the new client sector that we're identifying. The Jupiter team will help us do that, but also behind the scenes as an infrastructure in the business, we have to accommodate the new requirements of that particular client, understand their needs and shape the business to their requirements. So it will be evolutionary as opposed to revolutionary and we expect that change to happen more rapidly because of the expertise we brought on board. 
So what kind of customer base are you particularly interested in for the wide format? Okay, we've identified the retail sector, uh, the sports sector and outdoor events as being a new client base that we are looking to deal with going forward. Given the recent formation of Jupiter Visual Graphics, can you just explain um, how wide format currently fits into the call print scenario? Corporate, um, when we set up the business, had a structure of setting up a, a national business to support in the whole of the UK. We have three strategic hubs in place already at the moment, which is London, uh, the Birmingham office, and our Liverpool Northwest office. Those three locations already had significant investment in terms of wide format equipment. Uh, the office at Saffron Hill will become our central wide format centre. We're currently expanding our Birmingham operation from 6,000 square feet to 12,000 square feet uh, this year um, to accommodate more wide format ex uh, investment. And our Liverpool office is already uh, offering wide format services in place. The Jupiter team coming on board will utilise that existing infrastructure, mm. which is really is the spine of the business, with other smaller corporate locations dotted in and around those hub locations. So they will be able to tap into that um, and the client base that sits alongside those corporate hub locations. You've stated that Liverpool is to become um, an orphan hub for wide format and that you're looking into a site in Manchester as well. Can you just um, tell us a bit about your rationale there? I think um, corporate have always seen themselves as a national business and the North West particularly is a key area for us um, to operate as corporate but we also see the opportunities as Jupiter Visual Communications to operate in those areas as well. We already had our Liverpool hub location in place um, and that provides um, services across the North West. We're looking to expand that into a central Manchester location as well. In addition to that, the, the next phase will be Leeds forming what we believe a North West Triangle which we see significant growth opportunities over the next five years uh, with the recent government expansion in regards to HS2 project and the potential architects, engineers, construction alongside the other opportunities which Jupiter will bring as well. We have national contracts and unless we're located directly in that region, those national contracts become a little bit redundant. So we have um, a significant number of national contracts which are London centric, mm. okay, which includes locations in Manchester, in Scotland mm. um, and in the North East. Um, unless we were have an operational locally based, those national contracts don't mean anything. So we have to be in place geographically as well as have the structure to support it you know, nationally. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's vital. So what are your overseas intentions? Um, you've mentioned a facility in Dubai um, and perhaps working with a partner in New York. Our Dubai operation has been in place for three years now. Um, initially was to support our existing corporate operation. Uh, the opportunities in Dubai are the same as they are in the UK. In fact, there was a wide expanse of wide format requirement in Dubai, particularly with their recent win of the 2020 Expo uh, coming up. Um, so there's going to be a more requirement for wide format. We have the space, the infrastructure already in place in Dubai. It would be a question of tapping into some local expertise as well as utilising exp expertise in London. Outside of Dubai, we have uh, an existing investment with two US companies okay, providing services globally, not just in the US, but across the globe. Through those, through those partnerships, um, particularly our New York partner has an extensive knowledge of wide format, um, existing investment, and we've already aligned ourselves to utilise their infrastructure supporting Jupiter as we expand the service outside of the UK to maybe North America. So can I just ask who the US partners are? Yes, I can. Uh, Thomas Reaper Graphics and National Reaper Graphics. Thomas Reaper Graphics is the largest independent family-owned business across the US. And National Reaper Graphics, based out in New York, um, um, are one of the oldest family-owned companies in the US also. I suppose in summation, um, how do you expect Callprint to look in, in two years' time? We have targets as a business and obviously at the moment we're sitting at a £12 million business. Our initial target for year one is to get as close to £18 million as we can in terms of increased growth. Okay? And in year two we're looking to hit £25 million as total opportunity. Beyond that, um, my personal targets, yes I'd like us to keep on growing. Um, I don't know if world domination is something we're looking at, but certainly we're looking to increase the portfolio of business that we have, increase the opportunities for the people within the business as we keep on growing both in the UK and if the opportunities present themselves outside of the UK as well. With the Jupiter side, we see the initial uh, first year target as being 1.6 million okay, in terms of new business sales. 
Um, in year two, we're looking at a target of three million, okay? And in year three, we're looking to exceed five million in terms of new business sales. So all that 20 to 25 million, we're hoping that 25% uh, of that will be acclimatized to Jupiter uh, in, terms, in terms of its UK position. We're not quite sure how to measure outside the UK position in terms of that, what opportunities are gonna present itself as yet. The acquisitions make a big difference and it depends on the size of the acquisition. So that's what we're looking at as new business growth. Um, any acquisitions would be on top of that. Um, what we'd hope to do with any acquisitions is look to seize the opportunities that already exist there, but actually provide the new services to their existing client base to add to our existing turnover as well.